Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss the following question, and the question says: Solve 3x square minus 5x plus 2 is equal to 0. Let's start the solution now. We are given this quadratic equation. So the given quadratic equation is 3x square minus 5x. Plus two is equal to zero. We will solve this quadratic equation by factorizing. For this, we will split the middle term. Now the quadratic equation is three x square minus five x plus two is equal to zero, and the middle term is minus five x. We will split the middle term into two terms. Such that the product of these two terms is equal to the product of the first and the last term of the given quadratic equation. Now minus 5x can be written as minus 3x minus 2x. So we have split minus 5x into minus 3x and minus 2x. Now if we see the product of these two terms, that is. Minus 3x into minus 2x. This is equal to 6x square, which is equal to 3x square, which is the first term of the quadratic equation, into 2, which is the last term of the quadratic equation. So the product of these two middle terms is equal to the product of the first and the last term of the quadratic equation. So the middle term can be split in this way. So this implies the quadratic equation after splitting the middle term becomes 3x square minus 3x minus 2x plus 2 is equal to zero. This implies we will take 3x common between the first and the second term. So 3x into x minus 1 the whole. Next we will take minus 2 common between the last two terms. So minus 2 into x minus 1 the whole is equal to zero. This implies. 3x minus 2 the whole into x minus 1 the whole is equal to 0. So in this way we have factorized the given quadratic equation into two factors. This implies 3x minus 2 is equal to 0 or x minus 1 is equal to 0. This implies From the first equation, we get x is equal to 2 by 3. Or from the second equation, we get x is equal to 1. So the final answer for the given question is the two roots of the quadratic equation are x is equal to 2 by 3 and x is equal to 1. This is our final answer. With this, we end our session. Hope you enjoyed the session.